Hey guys, welcome back to the C-Store Pro Training Center. So in this video, we're going to talk about the two other components, which are basically the services tab and the tender tab, tender types tab. Uh, so up until now, you should have completed the training and started actually utilizing the day report closing component of C-Store Pro, the grocery purchasing and the price book component, uh, the gas management and the lottery management of C-Store Pro. So be sure to start those elements of the software before moving on to the services and the tender type element. Uh, so we'll start with the services. Now, one thing to keep in mind is all of this stuff is actually done right through the basic cash dashboard, depending on which components you have assigned to your store. So for example, if you're looking at this basic task screen on this demo store, you'll notice that I have credit card two assigned, which is a secondary credit card machine. Uh, I have lottery lotto assigned, and I also have money order assigned. Uh, so those are my basic settlement accounts or my other services or tender type accounts that I have set up over here which show up right on the screen. I also have local customer accounts set up which show up on the reporting side of it on the right hand side for analytical purposes. So let's get started. So when you click on the service tab, the first thing you have is the dashboard. The purpose of this dashboard is basically to give you an indication of how much your current balance, outstanding balance is for each of the components in your store. So for example, on this particular date, my lottery lotto balance is about $3,300, so meaning I owe the lottery lotto company $3,300. My money order balance is close to about $6,000, meaning I owe the money order guys about $6,000. You know, tell me how many services are outstanding and my total amount outstanding combined for all of my services that I have assigned in my store. So right from this dashboard, very similar to the basic task, I can go ahead and do the settlements right from here. Now, you can also get in-depth analysis. Like for example, in this particular case, I have a money order component, lottery lotto component. So all the lottery lotto analysis are done over here, uh, but money order is done over here. So if I go into money order, now if I have one type of money order, I can also click on settlements to view all my old settlements. And you notice over here they're grayed out. The reason they're grayed out is because I can't delete it because they've already been reconciled by my back office, uh, basically my accounting team. And so it won't allow me to delete this. I can All I can do is basically edit an item or even search for a particular money order settlement. If I want to do a minimum or maximum. So let's say for example, I want to find all my money orders that are between $3,000 to four thousand dollars for this time frame when i run this report it will basically find all of those money orders for me i can sort if i want to by lowest amount highest amount settlement and all that stuff from here as well uh, i also have money order two component if you have two different types of money orders you can actually you know activate that as well by going into the store settings and you know going to the day report settings and i also have this reports a component so in the report component Let's say, for example, I run my February report and I look at my money order balance. This is basically giving me my day-by-day -day breakdown of how much money orders I sold um, and what my balance is and what my expected settlement should be. So my opening balance was this much. This is my balance. I paid it off over here, so it's zeroed it out. I paid it off, so it's zeroed it out. And it's basically telling me that at the end of this month, this was my what my running balance is. Uh, I can also run a neat little profit report that tells me, you know, for my day-by-day -day what my profit should be for that money order component and tells me my total profit over here for this money order component. This is all the data that's making its way into your, at the end of the day, your monthly financials for this component. Uh, since I don't have bill payment component, I won't see any of that, but the bill came, payment is relatively similar. I have my sales log and I have my profit log. Uh, money transfer, again, works the same way. Uh, money transfer is actually a little bit different. You don't get any settlements or anything like that uh, because it's directly bank to bank. It's just a commission base. So let's say, for example, I run my money transfer balance report over here. Uh, it'll tell me what my money transfer uh, basically report was, how much money transfers I did day by day. And this is basically what goes directly into your bank. It has nothing to do with your store reports or anything like that. You can also run a payout report if you want to day by day how much money transfer you're actually paying out uh, and then same thing for the secondary money transfers right so you kind of have that report over here um, ATM if you have your own ATM and you're loading your own ATM you can get all sorts of reports through here let's say for example I want to run my settlement report for my ATM here's my day by day net settlement amount and what I should have gotten in my bank account uh, for each day now again keep in mind that our system is actually making all of these entries back into your bank account uh, so you don't have to go through each of these components. This is meant for analytical reasons. I can also come in here and I can say what's my ATM cash balance. So if I want to know, hey, 
if my manager has been entering in all of my uh, ATM dispense amounts and my loads amount into my day report, I can say, you know what, for this month, I can do a spot check and say that according to my manager's entries, my cash balance should be $55,880 in my bank account. And this is how much was last, you know, total dispensed, right? So if I go into my ATM at this moment in time, I should see $5,880 in my ATM. I can also run an expected profit report based on my profit settings and know that, hey, for this month, let's say for February, my expected profit for my ATM should be about $2,500. You also have other services. This is usually meant for uh, you know individuals that have either hunting and fishing license, they do dry cleaning services, or they have like cat skill or weight systems in their store that they basically a commission based off of, right? And it could be anything, a wide range of things. We've seen people have anything from hunting and fishing license all the way to providing dry cleaning services uh, or UPS postal services in their store. So that's the other service element of it. And again, the reports are very much similar. You have the balance and you have the profit for each one of those. So that's the services side. Now let's move on to the tender types. Uh, you know, we have various different tender types. You have the credit cards and you can go up to three different credit card types. Uh, for example, let's say you have a primary credit card that's attached to your machine and you know, your point of sale system and your pumps and everything like that for your jobber. But then in case your credit cards go down or your satellite goes down, you have a secondary credit card machine that's sitting on the side. Um, so you have that. You also have food stamp component, fleet cards if you have, you know, uh, fleet services. And then you have customer accounts. These are like local accounts, charge accounts and stuff like that. And then you have other miscellaneous tenders if you want to add additional tender options into the system. This could be anything from Com Data, Com Check, you know, EFS, all those services that you basically provide. So when you go into the dashboard, you again get a very similar report kind of to the services that just tells you what your outstanding balance is for all of your components. This is your outstanding balance so far for your credit card. You don't have any left for your credit card too, otherwise it would have showed it over here. Uh, and it's telling you what your total uh, balances are there, right? And you have how many not settled and all this stuff. And you can click on all of these and get, you know, basically the data you need to see over here. Uh, when you go into credit cards, you have each of your credit card settlements. So you can click on here and you can see all your past settlements and you can filter, you know, which bank account and all that stuff. Uh, again, you can't delete this because obviously uh, it can't be done and it's telling you how this was settled, right? So it was basically an invoice credit into your operating account for your gas payment and if you click on these details, you can actually get a detailed breakdown of what those invoice credits were. Again, this is analytical purposes only. It's just for you to have all these tools available in your system. Um, you can also go into update batch fees. This is very, very cool feature. Um, if you get your batch fees on a weekly basis from your job or you're not doing it at the daily report level, you can come into the system and you can say, I just want to find all my batch fees that are zero to zero, meaning I haven't entered in any of my fees, right? Um, and I can select my batch types or whatever and I can run the report and it'll tell me that, hey, I have this invoice where I haven't entered in my fees. So you can go ahead and enter in your fees. Let's say you wanted to find a particular batch. You can just come in here and you can look at this report and find it for a particular time frame and just run these reports, right? You have your secondary credit card and a third credit card option at the top and you have the sorting option over here as well from low fees to high fees, etc. So that's that. Um, you can also go into credit cards and reports and now these are all the reports. So for example, if I want to look at all my credit card batches for you know this year, run the report, it'll give me this year and it'll tell me what the status of those batches are, if it's settled, unsettled, etc. Right? So if I go down here, you'll notice that these are the unsettled batches that I have. Um, you can also filter that down and break that down by looking at your balance report. So if I go into my balance report, I'll basically get a nice little balance sheet for my credit cards. Uh, and again, this is all the data, assuming that you're doing all your fuel payments and your day reports and all that stuff, it's all available over here. It's basically telling you, you know, what your batch type it is, what your gross fees net, you know, is it settled or not? Um, were there any adjustments done and what your net settlement was and what your balance is right after that. So as you're settling, your balances are basically getting reduced. So as of right now, this is my basically balance. Uh, this is how much I've paid so far and this is how much I've collected so far in net. You have then again food stamps. Again, you can do your settlements through here even though you would ideally want to do it through your dashboard, the basic tax dashboard. But you can always go into here and do your settlements from here. 
Um, you also have your reports as well over here, which will basically give you very similar again to the credit cards where you have your batch logs and your balance report. Uh, same thing for your credit card twos, credit card threes, all that stuff, as well as your fleet cards and your other tenders, right? So I'm not going to go into the details of that. But then you also have this customer credit account. Um, so you notice on the basic dashboard, if let's say a customer came in and say he wants to settle his bill, your employees can just simply click over here, view report, click on view summary and run this report and you'll get the summary. If you want to select a particular person or a particular vendor, you can come in here and select a particular vendor by clicking on details and then selecting which vendor you want to run that report for. So let's say for example, I go here and I run it for this vendor right here run report it'll tell me what my opening balance is so meaning how much they owe you and let's say i wanted to run it for last month he wants to settle for last month and it'll basically tell me a breakdown and i can print this out and basically submit this over uh to them right so it tells me that hey this is how much you basically still owe me 425 dollars um then you have your customer uh basically other tender information so that's your tender types um, that pretty much covers this basic other services component of C Store Pro. If you have any questions or need additional help in regards to this, please could just call C Store Pro at 281-265-2299. Thanks guys, look forward to you guys watching the future videos.